hello. Um, little bit rattled, I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> because I was supposed to play um, uh, Hypnospace Outlaw. That was the game I had planned. And because we've just recorded an emergency podcast, I didn't have a chance to like check the setup or anything. And it turns out that game, you can't do window capture from it. Um, there'll probably be a way of doing it. I just haven't had time to figure it out. So instead, we're going to play uh, Mutant Year Zero instead. Um, which looks pretty fucking good, to be honest. Um, this is one I've had my eye on it for a while. I was annoyed when it came out because it's on Game Pass on the Xbox. But the PC version isn't on the Windows Store. It's on Steam, so it's not free um, on the PC. Um, but it has been in this week's humble monthly bundle, which I've now signed up to. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, emergency podcast question mark. Um, yeah, it's about the the Google stuff. It's going to go live while this stream is happening. So if you could not close the stream and go and listen to the podcast when that comes out, give it till the morning. It's fine. No one will mind. Um, so yeah, hang on. Where are we? Sorry, I'll turn the, the game audio down because there we go. Is this an indie? Are you doing an indie, Sean? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a legit indie, isn't it? I haven't even had time to check, I'll be honest. Um, so, who fucking knows? Is the volume all right? Of the, can you hear the music and that? Or is it totally drowning me out? Um, right, where are we? Uh, is it a bit loud? Okay. There you go. How's that? Um, right. Cool. Do I want to save the settings? Yes, I do. Um, I've not even looked at the graph. Everything's on medium. I'm sure that's fine. Um, so yeah. Uh, so this is a turn-based strategy game, and it's got like anthropomorphized animals in it, um, which I'm all right with. Um, what's this? Choose difficulty. Normal. Very hard. You have some experience with tactical games. Enemies deal more damage. Yeah, be fine. Um, I'm not doing Iron Mutant mode because that's insane. I've got this running in like a 720p window, so if you see me like squinting, it's not that I'm old and dying, although I am both of those things. It's just a bit small on the screen. It's a good loading screen, this, isn't it? Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before prep closes for the night. All right. Okay, so I've got. Trust me, I'm not annoying. Proper control over. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Want to see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that nine thousand times already, Borman. I don't know where the Ark is. There's probably directions on that sign, but it's too small to read. It does look nice. I agree with you on look that. Look at this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This scrap's going to make us heroes back at the Ark. <clears throat> the air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's arc. Where there's arc, there's killing time for schizix and treble. Look out! They're close, 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 close. This is Over creepy. There. Come, brother. I'm on that trail. Am I supposed to be getting into a fight with them or avoiding one? I'm going to avoid it if I can. Here we go. 
combat is turn based. Each stalker gets two action points per turn. Some actions such as shooting, throwing, or sprinting will end your turn once used. Fine. Um, what's this game about? I have no idea. I've not played it yet. Other than it's got talking animals and turn based strategy. So, play turns so who have not been spotted. Okay. So, I guess the whole thing is that you sort of choose how you enter the encounters. How do I know how, like, what will get me spotted? Okay, we'll alert new unit. Cool. So if I get him round there. And then he ducks. And go here. And then, so we've got walk, fire weapon. Okay, so this is XCOM. Which is fine. Because XCOM's really good. <laughs> Yes, mate. <laughs> uh, okay, and you can just hide. Um, confusingly, I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller, um, and it's given me all Xbox button prompts. That's really good. Um, just carry on hiding. Oh, I see. So we're now like fully out of. We're now fully out of the turn-based thing. Hello, Dave. Uh, <laughs> no, Matt didn't make us do it. We just decided because of all that Google stuff going on, it'd be a bit weird to put out a podcast tomorrow that didn't mention it whatsoever and then sit on it for another week um, and then talk about it. So, um, yeah. Google stuff that Farley never wanted to mention. Well, it's here now, so there's no no more uh, no more hiding from it. So is he just going to sit there? Farley didn't moan about it. No, well he he wanted to moan about it, so it's fine. <laughs> Okay, right, and then once so you get everyone in position, and then you can ambush again. This is pretty good, man. Um... Oh no, Matt did make us commit to streaming every week. That was totally him. <laughs> but uh, it turns out it was a good idea, because otherwise, I mean, knowing what I'm like, I'd have just like found a different excuse not to do it all the time. Right, let's ambush the sucker. Okay, I'm pressing... Nope, that's not X, that's why. <laughs> you idiot. Yeah, I know how cover works. Yeah, 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 yeah. cool. Oh, what's this? Activating this unit will engage it in combat. Ignoring it will allow you to keep it hidden in the same location for later. Hidden units can be spotted by the enemy in combat if they get too close. Let's activate ducks and shoot this fucker. Ducks is right. the fucking boy. I've never seen ghouls this far south before. They're getting closer to the Ark every day. Something's up, Borman. Come on, piggy. Okay, and then now we move on. Um, da, 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 da. What's, go what's going on in the chat? Everyone's shouting. So Matt's trying to, trying to create an empire. We know that. It's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not that we're trying to create an empire. We're just trying to maintain one for Dave to come back to. Like, we just sort of figured we have to go all out just to maintain what we had when Dave was part of the show and <laughs> because anything less would uh, ruin it for him and then he'd come back and have to start from scratch, wouldn't he? Hold it, ghouls. I don't like the look of that big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay, here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water, go around them. 
Enemies with Red Skull are too high level for your team and will kill you. Avoid Red Skull enemies and explore the zone to find encounters that match your team's level. Okay. So this is interesting. I thought it was just like... Like XCOM, like here's an encounter, deal with it. Back to base, do some stuff, and then like each mission is just like a set thing. Whereas I didn't realise this had like actual like exploration and stuff. Faces till they die! Faces too ugly to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Arcs don't even love stalkers. <laughs> Level 55. Bloody hell. Uh, is that a way of saying that you've worked out how wrong you were about? When have we ever said. What do you mean? What? <laughs> oh, I see. Sorry, you're applying to Scientologist. They will say, I've gained some extra respect for you um, since you've gone. I mean, that's not a nice way of talking about someone, is it? Did it, guys? I won. I am going to have to get a second screen for doing this because at the moment it's still all on the laptop and it's not great having to share one screen with like the streaming software and the game. The arc's up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm going to kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys, get another grog with the boys, foot massage. Grog with oh, the boys. It's be great. Grog with the fucking boys. The campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. That's nice. Environmental storytelling, guys. Just throw some corpses around. <clears throat> um, <laughs> surely some of that sweet Twitch money should get shown a second screen. Was it all on the website? It has a lot of it has gone on the website. To be fair, this month um, we came out with a little bit each, but yeah, it's all paid for like the theme and the hosting and then stuff. But I did worth paying for, if you ask me. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in, guns blazing. Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. I'm into this. Because XCOM sort of did this. At the start of every mission, there was the opportunity, like... So XCOM 2. Um, where you could sort of try and get yourself in a decent position before combat started. But once combat started, that was it. Whereas this feels like a like a nice fluid sort of switching back and forth between the two. Hungry. Hungry. Hang on, why is my flashlight on? How do I turn it off? I didn't see that in the controls. Ambush the invitation screen, navigation. Cool. Okay, so it's just not there. Weird. <laughs> so that's my inventory. It's not there either. Does it just do it automatically when you get in range or something? We go. Oh, nope. Their hearts, crush their... Hey, hey. Hear that? Hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry. Kill. Can I ambush from here? Let's have a go. I'm 
gonna shoot this guy and it's gonna go away. Yeah, mate. Another one bites the ducks. Another one bites the ducks. That doesn't really work, <laughs> does it? Um. Can I actually, yeah. Storm in. Still out of range. Flip's sake. Where's he gonna move to and not get spotted? Let's get him over that side, I guess. <coughs> uh oh. Oh, man. Get the fat one! Getcha! Getting fucking shot like an idiot. Wants it. We need it! Fucking shoot him. Oh, hang on. Should we lob a grenade instead? Oh, that does piss damage. What else have we got? Overwatch. Dig down. Shoot him then. Well done. He's got no ammo. Why has Ducks got no ammo? Oh, uh, I've, I've got to reload. Right, let's get into a better position. Reload, I assume. Yeah, that's my action. Bomb in! Kids, get that annoying freak as good as dead! Uh oh. Okay, Docs, I recommend that you kill this guy immediately. Else you're fucked. Hooray! <laughs> God, you can't fuck around on this, can you? I have absolutely fucked this. Like, well and truly. So I'm going to revive the other guy who's about to die. Oh, no, he used to... Use the medkit on himself, and now Borm is dead. Okay, he dies this turn. Oh, but I've already used my medkit, so... Great. Okay, so I can reload, and then I can shoot. God. Damn, I'm good. Okay. Borming's not dead. Things up each games. Mutation points. Mutation points are used to unlock powerful combat mutations or to improve your stalker's stats, which is health or movement range. And in this example, it appears to give the duck guy weird, like, bat wings. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, press the that button. Not that button. That button. Major, minor, or passive. Each only one of each can be used in your loadout. Okay. So that bonuses are permanent or always applied regardless of loadout. The loadout can be changed in the inventory at any time outside of combat. So Borman's got two points. Enables an action after sprinting, which is useful because he appears to be a shotty guy. Um so that costs two points. Draw enemy attention to yourself for one turn. I absolutely don't want that. Um, do I just want to give him a health booster for now, given that he nearly died? I think I do. 
do with that. Um, and then what are we going to do with ducks? Skull Splitter. Enhanced critical chance allows you to pop the head of an enemy as easy as popping the boils on Bormin's back. This wild behavior will cost you some accuracy. Okay, so it reduces your accuracy but gives you 100% critical chance. Weird. Permanently will increase health by one point. I mean, it's got... I mean, I've only got two points. It's got to be that. And then... The skull splitter. Cool. Got a boom box. Look at this beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. <laughs> touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Broken gun. Brilliant. Weapon parts can be spent to upgrade your weapons in the Ark of Dallas Fix Pit. Cool. Scrap. I'm still like creeping around and I don't know why or how to stop it. Come on, stay back. In this. Yeah, yeah, prize time. <laughs> Cannon. Humorously named after the type of damage it's been known to deliver. Gaper. Launches fat chunky shells, but the Gaper loses in salty, it gains back in power. Can knock back most enemies. Alright, cool. Guess we just carry on up the road then. I'll be honest, if I'd known this was going to be quite slow to begin with, might not have picked it as the, tonight's game. It was a bit of an emergency choice on account of uh, Hypnospace Outlaw just not working. Get your asses over here. Also, I don't know why I just regrouped at the pig. Well, uh, yeah, of course I'm just cracking on, Dave. What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> You're all just chatting. There's basically... It's like we're all in the same room. I'm just, I'm just in one corner doing my thing. And there's 14 people all partying together. <laughs> and... It's like you're all at a gig and I'm just on stage playing songs and everyone's just like chatting and wishing I'd shut up. That's a joke. I don't think uh, people actually think that. But it is quite funny. Uh, I'm not going to play did it to FIFA. Us. Not yet. It will happen. Oh, hang on. Story. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. Nice. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave because outside these walls lies the zone the never ending wasteland a mass grave spanning the planet 
littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. <laughs> if the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. Yeah, all right. Fine. Um, I mean, as post-apocalyptic settings go, pretty standard, apart from the animal mutants, which are pretty cool. I'll give you that. Um, I do like the presentation in general, though. <clears throat> yeah, rest. That's, like, two and a bit weeks away. That's weird. Um, I'm looking forward to it, though. Should be a good laugh. It'll be absolutely knackering. Like going down to London, doing the show, and then meeting everyone, and then just going straight back up again. But home yeah, it should sweet be home. a good time. The elevator's up ahead. Right. Dark outskirts. Surely there's no bad guys around the bit where we live. Oh, there we go. What are those rod heads up to? Wait, they're planning to ambush the elevator. We've got to stop them. Let's sneak around and see if there's others. Uh, yeah, going back on the same night. Um, Childcare and that in it, it's a pain. Um, Whoop. So, uh, yeah, doing it all in one day. Let's see if we got something useful. Yeah, snazzy visor. Cool. Do love a snazzy visor. There's that one guy walking around. There's the two I found originally. I think that's it. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so that's four. Yes, Naila Ben, you probably should come. And Ben, everyone, because it will be a good time. Right, what's the deal there? So that's, I guess that's the lift. Oh, shit. If I just park ducks here, get him hidden, get pig lads all the way around here ready to shotgun these two. Box open. Oh shit. We go in the box. Box goes in the ark. Take their food. Ah, I've got to go the long way around. I 
don't know why they all talk like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. That's a bit of a letdown. Oh, shit. So if I hide... And then I guess we ambush from here, right? That works, I think. Right. So I can hit him from there. And I think that still counts as sneaking, so that's good. Fire weapon. Kill him. Yeah! <laughs> Him. Shoot him. This has mostly worked. Yeah. For the elder. For the ark. And he's going to try and rush Pigo. Motherfucker. miles away. Right, I think Pig's getting shot. Plus he needs to reload his stupid fucking gun as well. I'm just going to have to sprint and stay in cover. There's nothing else for it. Right. Bomb in. Um... I guess I just have to kill one of them and hope that that's enough. <laughs> Yay! I'll do. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, sorry, Bormin. Close your eyes. And sort of that was gonna happen. So I need to just get as close as possible. As quickly as possible. Now I don't know if he if that hunter guy knows where Ducko is. We have to find out. Oh, that hair yeah. hurt. Probably turn out he'll kill him now. <gasps> yep, there we go. Fucking brilliant. Wow! Um, <laughs> oh wait, load. I haven't saved my game at any point. Please tell me it's got auto save. So I think trying to be clever and splitting them up near the start or right at the start just wasn't necessary or helpful. <laughs> Right, where's this? Oh, right, okay, so this is where I was, and then I'd pick that stuff up. Okay, so let's get out of here, back to where those first two guys were, and just go from there. I think that's the smart way of doing things. I think if Pigo hides there, Ducko hides back here is that too far away oh yeah there we go here we go ambush it's gonna be fine so activate bombing get him over here shoot that bastard on. And then get ducks. Take out this guy. Out of range? Okay, literally just needs to move there. Okay, so that's the guy who had a bit more health. So worth taking him out first, I guess. Yeah. 
on the water tonight, lads. Living it up. I have no idea what those guys are saying. Alright, ducks, finish. Oh, you gotta reload first. Take the fuck out. Oh! Ducks! Fuck's sake. Oh, you had some milk, Scientologist. That's good shit, man. I might get some milk in a bit. Treat myself. Got no biscuits to have with it, though. Can't have milk without biscuits. Oh, fucking hell. Right, I hope one of you does die this turn. Ah, didn't realise there was a ladder to get up on the roof. That would have been good to know. Right, ducks. Stop fucking up once in your life. Oh, come on! I need to flank him, don't I? That's the problem. I'm not flanking him, so he's getting the full benefit of that cover. For shit's sake. You Game over. Good at this. Why didn't you? Uh, no, there isn't another character, so you start with just the, the pig and the duck to begin with. Um... It's all right. I think I've think I've got it this time. <laughs> I'm gonna get ducks up on the roof, theoretically, um, and then he can pick people off. Uh, I think there is a lady in it, but I haven't got it yet. Right, duck. Split up. So we're splitting up again. Probably gonna regret this. Do, 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 do. Up you go, fella. And has he even got line of sight on, like, anyone? Okay, yes. Yeah, cool. Oh, shit. Ah! I'm still going to keep bombing round here at the pecky station, because I think that's a good place for him. Ducks. Fire weapon. I oh, kill him from here. Why not? Silent weapon, mate. Nighty night. Um. Okay, so because he's got taken out and no one saw, we're just back to stealth mode. That's good. Like that. Right, but it's not giving me the ambush option because I guess no one's in range. I have watched a bit of Love, Death and Robots and I thought it was really bad. Sorry. Um, I thought this stuff, like, I mean, the first episode, I loved the, the big fight with the monsters and everything. But the whole thing about all oh, the main, like the the uh, protagonist's like only personality feature is that she was assaulted really badly, and that's why she's really angry, and um, and everyone was calling each other cunts, and there was tits in it and lesbians, and it just all seemed a bit juvenile to me. Um, which is a shame. Because, as I say, looked amazing. Um, episode three looks absolutely stunning. But again, I don't. I just. I'm not entirely clear on why. Again, in episode three, the different main character, also a woman, was basically naked for the entire thing. Um, yeah, I know they're only 10, 20 minutes long. I don't need a lot of detail. It's just a bit grim to just be like, this woman was sexually assaulted. That's all you ever get to find out about her. Great. <laughs> like, that's just shit cheap writing, to be honest. Um, 
Yeah, it's Zoom Blue. I've, I, I understand. It's like 18 episodes, and they're all different directors and stuff. So I, I know there are probably episodes in there I would enjoy. Um, but yeah. All right, down you go, Ducko, because apparently there's no one else you can shoot up there. We'll see. Ya. What's this? needs to get murdered. So if we get forming in, shoot the butcher. Boom. Shoot him. Miss! Fucking hell, here we go. Where's my backup? Smash the feather one! Get ya! Right, let's just fucking storm him. Because otherwise this isn't going to happen. Yeah, I've only got 25% chance to hit him there. Oh, can I undo that reload? No, I can't. Let's throw a grenade. Fuck it. Oh, I did literally nothing. Tremendous. Oh, it was a smoke grenade. That'll be why. And also, I can't shoot him now because it's blocked by smoke. Fuck's sake. Is this a real grenade that does damage? Oh, it's a Molotov. Yeah, fuck it. There we go. I don't think that even hit him. Decent cover though. Oh, but then I haven't got a health kit anyway. Shit. <laughs> um. Right, let's reload first because we've got to do that no matter what. So if I'm there, no line of sight. No, no, 50%. Okay. Yeah! Two damage? Not a problem, mate. Not a problem. I think I'm just going to be an idiot and, yeah, just walk out in the open and shoot him from there. Yeah! That'll do it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Good. And we've leveled up again. Thank you. Oh, there we go. I figured out how to turn the flashlight on and off. <laughs> uh, 
ancient site. It's a scope. So hang on, what do you even need the torch for, given that it doesn't really help you see anyway? Seems odd. You coming? Oh yeah, it could be a fog of war thing, I guess. over there. Atmosphere, another good suggestion. Oh, I hope it's something good. Oh, there's a skeleton there. Oh, the best. Stay back. Follow me. Oh, another shiny. I don't know if I need this, like, creeping around after the fight's ended, just trying to find all the shiny items. <laughs> but maybe that gets a bit more involved later on, who knows. is at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. All right. Fine. Um, yeah, why isn't the... Why isn't the... Ham, a pig guy called Hammond. That is <laughs> a missed opportunity, to say the least. Um, but yeah, I'm quite surprised by how nice the um, like the voice acting's really good and stuff. I'm I'm impressed. They actually sort of give a shit about <laughs> the characters, which I mean, obviously you do in XCOM, but that's more through the fact that they like your team that you you know you raise yourself and you customize them and stuff. Um, this is beautiful. Oh, we got shop. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. All right. Happy shopping. Don't pull her chain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Powered by exercise bike. Yeah. Fella in the background. <laughs> Stabbing you go. Maybe he's just doing that for his own purposes. Okay. So this is all grenades. And okay. There's a fancy gun. Um, and an ancient site. Safe travels. Does feel high budget for an indie, if, if indeed it is definitely an indie game. I didn't get a chance to check. Um, 
So, not necessarily an indie game. After a so don't tell James. Zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts... Out Look, of if Matt and James hadn't made me do an emergency podcast turn. about the Brenda? fucking Google thing, I'd have had more time to prepare and I could have... <laughs> like, okay, I could have I could have either figured out how to play um, a Hypnospace Outlaw on the stream or I could have maybe picked something a bit more <laughs> appropriate. Basically, I don't see how this is my fault. There we go. We've got an artifact point. So what have we got? Uh, extend crew bleed out time by two turns. Unlocks an extra grenade slot. Or oh, you get 20% discount in the shop. I think probably that bleed out timer is going to be good. Okay. All right. So it's developed by the bearded ladies and published by Funcom. But it's got a publisher. Crucially, it has been published by someone. Mind you. If something's published by, like, Devolver, everyone's like, yeah, it's an indie game. Because <laughs> they're, like, an indie publisher. Um, so, I, it's all bollocks, really, isn't it? That's what I've just decided. You have a swell time out there. It's in this fixed pit. Want to know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? Oh, is it an existing IP? I did not know that. I am ignorant of this. Okay, so what have we got? What have we got? Okay, so you can upgrade your stuff. You can. Oh, yeah, let's fit that scope that I got. And then I've got a damage module. What does this do? Oh, okay. Additional critical damage and 50% chance to burn enemies. That sounds quite good. Do it. And then... So that's a pistol. That's a shotgun. See, do I want to give that to Pig Lad? Okay, it's a tabletop RPG. Did not know that. Um, oh, hello, Mara. You alright, mate? Do you want me to stick your blanket on there so you can... No. <laughs> okay, well, I can't do anything with that weapon. I haven't got any anything for that weapon either. Okay, I've just put everything on the crossbow. <laughs> Never mind. Or maybe I can take that damage mod off and put that on. Oh, can you not remove it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, remove attachment. Um, I'll put the damage mod on there instead. So they get one each. And then I guess I just dismantle the ones I don't want, right? Okay, so they've both got a, a pistol as well as their main weapon. Wish I'd known that before instead of spending loads of turns reloading. Um, right, what's the deal with this? I mean, it just seems a lot better than that shotgun. Okay, so critical damage 9, damage 6, 7... Much better critical, better ammo, better range. I'm gonna... Doesn't the crossbow seem to have shit range? No, it's got 12 range, mate. It's the highest one. Whereas the shotgun's only got 8. And that gaper's only... I think I'm just gonna get rid of the gaper, to be honest. Get some thingy bucks. Oh, that gives me enough to upgrade one of these. Um... I'm going to stick with the crossbow to be honest. Yes, mate. Oh, 
Oh, not the shooty bang stuff again. <laughs> it was just an offhand remark. Wasn't being disparaging about games with guns in them. Bye. Right, might as well buy stuff from Iridia. Welcome. If you want zone gear, I've got it. Uh, don't need another site. I think it's just some good old hand grenades would be good. I said to only afford one. Or I could afford two. Yeah, I can get one of these. And then a smoke grenade. <laughs> Why not? Save travels. What's the elder one? My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance. Bit creepy, this guy. To help you become wise and strong. I don't know if I want any advice Farewell. of him. Farewell. Remember your elders' guidance. Right, I think that's us. Hammond's cabin. That doesn't seem all that far away. Given that in that cutscene, he was like, Oh, it's the furthest we've ever been from the Ark. Clearly not. Or maybe just meant like the furthest north. I don't know. Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder. Sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. Shut the duck you, up. Gorman, ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. That's not it, is it? That's not the cabin. <laughs> Presumably. No, you can't even go in. Fine. What's this? Some big mad fucking robot. Whoa, check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side. It's like a star. Is that it? So they're, they're all like gung-ho about picking up bits of scrap metal and stuff. And then they find a bona fide fucking spaceship. <laughs> and <laughs> no one gives a shit. All right. Fine. Good news is we reached Heaven's cabin. Bad news is there's two friggin' ghouls casing the joint. We chase everything, but there are no secrets. Where are the secrets? The ones in the north will catch Hammond and squeeze the secrets from his head. Hammond will tell us what the junk is for. The junk is for us. All of it. Guess we get duck here. There was a bit of law, wasn't it? They go there. An ambush. Ah, oh, fuck me, he's got loads of health. I am hyphen. Hello, just popping briefly to hand over a monthly prime sub. Thank you very much, mate. It is well appreciated. 
Have that, you fucker. Good stuff. I never figured out how to heal my guys. Probably should have looked into that on account of them being nearly dead. Let's reload and just shoot the guy and hope it does the trick. Hey! <laughs> I hated that asshole. Good dialogue. Right, Bormin, I need you to shoot and kill this guy in one go and Oh no he can't, because it's too much it's got too much health. Never mind. Oh we did set him on fire though. That's something. Does that not count as full cover? Well, that does. So ducks behind there. Reload. We'll figure this out. It's fine. Overwatch. It's on Overwatch. So as soon as I move, I'm gonna get fucking shot. Let's try it. Anyway. God damn it, ducks! Shoot him now, though. Hey! <laughs> oh, we're done. You're right. Futile exercise. We did find out that they carried pistols as well. And I did not figure out how to change a weapon. So, uh, yeah. Great. What's this? Oh, an EMP. Oh, it's a damage module. All right. Great. Um, right, yeah, heal and save. Uh, da, 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 da. So, backpack. I do not have any health kits, by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Why? Use my kit. Is that it? I only had one. Okay, brilliant. Um, oh, Far Lone Sales are coming to PS4 soon. Brilliant. About bloody time. Um, it's a good fucking game, and I hope more people play it. Right. I did pick up some armor, didn't I? Oh, it's just a snazzy visor. What happened to that vest that I picked up? Oh, whatever. There we go. Oh, brilliant. It does actually show on the model. That's superb. <laughs> uh, right, let's give him some grenades. Right, so smoke grenades block line of sight and put out fires. That could be really useful. Castle crashes? What's castle crashes coming out on? What, PS4? some armor on you. Oh, on Switch! Okay, Castle Crashers on Switch is a good shout, to be fair. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> right, I feel like I've sorted out their kit. But, let's have a look at mutations. Three points, lads. Cool. Okay, run gun enables an action after sprinting. That makes a lot of sense with him, so let's just get that. 
Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. I didn't ask you. Fucking Google okay. robot. Much as I do like the robot, who's the name of the manufacturer of which I'm not going to say out loud because it'll make her listen again. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen if you've got a Spotify family account. You can just get one for free, um, which is pretty good, to be fair. So I've got one, and I'm going to stick the other one in the kitchen, I think. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, um, hyphen, you got Subsurface Circular. Wicked. Really good game. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, brother June, it seemed that Google Robot would be your video games platform, so try not to piss her off. Yeah, good point. Um, yeah, that'll do. Movement booster. Quarantine Circular is really fucking good. Like, it's probably the better of the two. Um, but, I mean, they're both. Like, well worth playing. Is that duct tape on his bill? Oh, I don't know. Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, it is. Yeah, just a bit of tape. Why not? Duct tape. <laughs> what was this? Pick up a pile of notes. Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Ah, oh, Ducks. Have some faith, mate. Oh, so now we've got to go back to the flipping big robot. Come on. Yeah, those little cutscenes are quite nice. Oh, I'm going to check the map in your inventory. Oh, so not this crash site, the new one, I guess. Zone dog camp. As the seasons pass, I'm forced further out into the zone to find even the most basic of objects. From time to time, I stumble across the odd hidden place, even in locations I imagined were already cleaned out by stalkers seasons ago. One such place is to be found due west of the fallen machine. It appears to be the remains of an ancient camp complete with transportable hut. The location is currently home to a pack of zone dogs who for some reason tolerate my presence near to their breeding grounds. They pick off wandering ghouls and I leave them alone. This unusual symbiosis works for me quite well. 
Uh, if I was a mutant animal humanoid, what would I be? Also, what would Matt and Farley be and Dave? Um, God, I don't know. Um, I mean... Matt, Matt's like a Jack Russell or something, right? Like, he's really excitable and... <laughs> You know, always on the move. Um, Farley. Is Farley a bear? He's not hairy enough, is he? Not hairy enough. Um, I don't know. I don't know what Farley is. I honestly cannot, cannot decide. Oh no, he's Farley's a, a seal. He's a he's a yeah, he's a big like he's a big massive seal. Um <laughs> uh, Farley's like a bear just coming out for a long hibernation, rarely getting excited by anything. That works. Um Dave is a I don't know, like a jackal or something. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's his own dog. I don't want to fight the dogs, please. Don't make me do that game. Oh god, they got loads of health as well. Uh, oh, thought he'd stop then. Oh, he has. Ah, he's coming back. This isn't going to work at all. Getting cover, getting cover, getting cover. Ambush. Okay, so they're calling it Castle Crashers Remastered, are they? So that, that, I mean, that suggests like a significant amount of newness. Um, I guess we shoot with docks first. I'm sorry, dog. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? I don't want to kill you. I feel like you're not going to leave me any choice. Okay, so I've activated that mutation so we can basically sprint all the way up to him and then point blank him. <laughs> what him was caught sneaking. No shit. Stay down. Sorry, I mate. You were grog. That was amazing. still split up, aren't they? This one switch, fair enough. The two consoles that matter. say I'm a bit confused by what this game considers like high and medium cover like to me that car is taller than Borman is and yet it only counts as partial cover a bit weird oh, does that hurt don't be all snarky about shooting a dog not necessary Lob a grenade. And hope for the best. That not. Overwatch. Shit. One of ours is down. I'm sort of glad that he did get savaged by the dog because that was mean. The way he talked about shooting him. 
Oh no, that was this that was a sprint. Fuck. Enough. But true, he is a duck. So maybe he's not the best. that sentimental about killing dogs. Come on. Bit of scrap and grenade. There's something over here as well. Oh yeah, heal. Uh, do I have any med kits? No, I do not. <laughs> God, there's not many of them around, is there? Should probably buy some. Instead of a load of grenades I'm not really using. Uh, oh, I can level up Borman, can't I? What's he got? Two points. Yeah, health booster. Thank you. Goodbye, I am hyphen. Enjoy the rest of your week. Oh, this is just bloody thingy's shack again, isn't it? Right, I don't know where to go. So you can just go back to the Ark at any point. Good. It just says investigate the crash site. This is all the way up there. How am I meant to do that? I don't understand. <laughs> Keep me misreading it in. Ian Hyphen. That's a real name. Don't know where to go. Is there an actual... There isn't just an actual area map, is there? Oh, is this... There we go. I probably shouldn't have taken that long. <clears throat> I'll probably do one more scrap and then maybe call it a night because I'm Never sort of this deep I am enjoying this but it's not much of a stream of game is it out here. they're everywhere Let's see. bit of scrap Oh, is this where I get the third party member? I hope so. Stay right there. Who are you? You're a Selma, right? You're a mutant like us on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. Then Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole lock? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. Nice. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. 
Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Yes, mate. Okay, she's got points to spend. Let's have a look. All she's got is an old pistol. She got no money to give it. Um, mutations. Seven points. Holy wow! Um, so let's give her more health. Uh, reach high places by simply moving or sprinting in combat. Or draw enemy attention to yourself for one turn. Um, I'm going to go with that. It's all bones and blood and that. Oh shit! What's going on? Creepy noises. Wow. You can have one hell of a flea market with this junk. Oh Look shit! These weird machines. Where do you think they come from? One more bit of cover, please. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck it. Ambush. <laughs> Alright, Docs, you got a line of sight on anyone. Yeah! Gotcha. Nice one. Still not dead. Foreman's got to finish the job. I guess what you're supposed to do, because you know it gives you the option to activate them. I wonder if part of the thing is that like, you try and do a couple of turns and don't even reveal one of them. Like just keep them hidden somewhere really advantageous. I don't know. He's gonna get caught sneaking because he's about to do this. Bullseye. You did good. Time to get zone dogged. Uh, I didn't figure out how to change weapon actually. Uh, oh, there we go. It's X. Stinger. Gun. Rimala Patar. Oh, who was that? I just heard Rimala Patar. <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't realize. Fuck me, I didn't even realize that was Borman shooting at him. Right, Stinger. Get shot, dog. Did he just fucking miss? Sorry, you're gonna get eaten by a dog.
mind. Move here and shotgun in the shit out of that dog. And that would be a Mint, sleep it off. Sweet! Big broken tally. What's this? Come on. Elder Almighty, I've seen some crazy shit in the zone, but this takes the bullet. This house must have belonged to some small people. I mean, small, small. That is just the weirdest. <laughs> it's a little toy, in it? Um, looking through Twitter to see what shite has happened recently. Google announced a weird gaming platform, and I don't think I'm all that keen on it. But I think maybe I'm just old and irrelevant. Let's see if we got something useful. Nice. 20% critical chance from high ground, so that's got to go to, uh, what's her name? Selma. Because she's the one who can just flip in, jump up on high things. And she looks pretty good in the hat too. Still haven't got any fucking med kits though. Colin, why does no one believe that your name is Colin, please? And why is everyone calling you Beans? What am I? What am I not <laughs> understanding here? Okay, so that's an exit, but then there was that other path, wasn't there? His name is Colin. Okay. Well, I don't know if I believe you now. The seed of doubt has been sown. Your name is Cotton. Okay, I'll believe you. You wouldn't lie to me about that. Oh, more shit. A note. Ah, I'm not going to read it. Oh, it used to be Beano. Right, okay, that makes sense. Ten jerks. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Because what level am I? Seven. Fuck that. I'm out. Wee. Oh, broken gum. Something about Google and shagging cats. Yeah. Didn't some YouTuber have to deny shagging his cat? Or something? Who fucking knows? An absolute toilet. I think I'm gonna call it a stream, guys, because I am enjoying this, but it's not that riveting to stream, and I feel like I'll have a much better time just chilling out and playing it in my own time, and also, yeah, um, but um, obviously also a bit weird, because this wasn't what I actually wanted to stream in the first place, but um, oh yeah, make sure to save, will do.
How do I do that? Save, create new save entry. Hooray! Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, sorry it's not been particularly riveting. Um, I'll have another go at trying to get Hypnospace Outlaw to work, but if not, I will pick something more suitable, not at the last minute next week. Um, but yeah. Um, I know you just got it. You just go on, you can watch it all archived, can't you? It's fine. Um, or just watch something good. Uh, Dairy Girls um, was on, when did that finish? About an hour ago. So you can probably watch that on all four. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. thanks for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, new pod, oh yeah, so a podcast will have gone up this evening that Matt's put up this, this magical extra one about the Google shit. Um, and then an actual episode tomorrow morning. Uh, Matt doing his, stream, his resi stream at half eight where he thinks he's probably going to finish the uh, uh, Claire's B run. So that'd be interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, what else? God, I'm fucking losing track. I am really tired. I may, may not mention that. Um, Farley doing Deadly Premonition at nine on Friday. Matt doing Bloodborne at 8.30 on Sunday. And then back to the start again. Um, so yeah. Right, cheers everyone. Take care. Thanks for watching. Love you all very much. Cheerio.